Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Today, I want to go over some of the quirks about playing zombies. If you're from multiplayer and you are used to the regular multiplayer game sessions that you play, these are completely different than some of the zombies game sessions and some of the zombie quirks that you have to uh, go into expecting from zombies. And here it is. First of all, in Black Ops 3, especially Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 2 a little bit as well, but these maps are complex. A huge criticism of the Black Ops 3 zombie maps is that they're too complicated and detailed to get into. While I understand that for some of the zombie maps, uh, there are there there are some still out there like the Giant and Horizon Draw, which are very very simple and easy to get into. But if you are a new Zombies player, you are just going to have to come to terms with the fact that Zetsubo no Shima and Shadows of Evil simply weren't made for you. There are several pros and cons to having complex maps versus simple maps, but I won't get into that right now. Uh, basically, complex maps are a little bit more challenging and they just mix it up a little bit. I know when I play Zetsubo no Shima or Shadows of Evil, I do have a long setup process, but after that setup process is done, I feel like I'm more invested in the map. And the maps themselves, that's about Noshima and Shadows of Evil, are very, very good, solid maps. But when you go down, you don't really feel like starting it back up again because of all that setup it takes. You know, it, it's an enjoyable experience in moderation. However, for the casual zombie player, you will always have your Darais and Drahas, you will always have your Giants and Kinos and all that sort of good stuff. But just know one of the quirks of zombies is that once you want to get into more complicated stuff, it's going to be a lot more challenging and a lot more tedious. Now this next quirk is something that you're going to notice right away. When you play multiplayer, you're playing in a, any given game session, maybe 10 to 15 games, if it's a good long game session. However, in Zombies, a good long game session may only be one game. It may be two games, and hardly ever is it three games. It's usually one or two long games of Zombies. It means you are going to be more invested in these games. You can't just casually come in, casually go to the bathroom, go get something to eat, come back to it. It's a lot more intensive, and you have to pay more attention to it when you are playing Zombies. Now, something you will also notice is that Zombies only has four maps as opposed to multiplayer's like 20 or so. This could mean that you could very easily get burnt out and tired of playing Zombies. This is something that's very difficult to avoid because there are so few maps. However, there is a lot of content in these maps. There's a lot of stuff to do. Like I said, they're kind of complex. There's a lot of Easter eggs. There's lots of bonus stuff. There's lots of replayability to be had here. That being said, don't do everything in one playthrough. Don't do literally everything you can in Zetsubo no Shima in one go because that means there's really no intent or there's really no want to play the map again. Maybe don't do the spider fight this time you play. Maybe don't get the wonder weapon upgraded this time you play. Maybe go for a certain weapon and only use that weapon until a certain round. And then the next time you go through, maybe go get the skulls. Maybe go through that spider boss. Hey, maybe next time you go through, play the Easter egg or, you know, do the Easter egg. It's little things like this which can extend the lifespan of a map. And if you do have a high round game, like the first time I got Black Ops 3 for the PC, uh, I, I actually got my first 50 plus round game. And that was one of the best zombie experiences I've ever had. I went to round 50 flawless without using a quick revive. I got to round 50 with zero downs. Now, when I did eventually quit out because, you know, it was time to go or something, I didn't necessarily want to jump right back into Shadows of Evil again. And guess what? That's okay. You can put down this game for a day or two or even a week. These experiences are really high intensity. It's a really high high when you're playing, but it's not something you can come home and do consistently every single night and get that consistent enjoyment out of it. At least that's what I've found. 
And finally, stuff to keep zombies fun and different is challenges. And a large part of this specific thing is, uh, for me at least personally, public matches. Public matches, you're going to find people who don't really know what they're doing. They're, they aren't optimizing every single point of every single round. They're just kind of playing zombies and trying to do the Shadows of Evil rituals while everybody's doing that is super, super fun. Trying to do your bow upgrades all by yourself is really entertaining and a challenge when you're playing in a public match. Not to mention picking up people when they go down 50 times and trying to revive them all of those times is incredibly entertaining. If I get to round 20 in a public match, that is like the best public match ever. If I get to round 20 solo, that's just like we're just getting started. So you kind of shorten your play sessions when you are going into a public match. But also, like I mentioned before, there are some challenges you can do. Everybody knows uh, the first room challenges where you're not allowed to open any doors. You're just staying in that first room and you're seeing how long you can survive. Uh, there's no perk challenges. You can get perks in a certain order. The rainbow perk challenge, the reverse rainbow perk challenge. There's so many different things you can do. There's the no power challenge. There's the box only. Uh, you get the two hit box challenge. There's a lot of different stuff you can do in order to make zombies more entertaining and live longer for you. However, unfortunately, these are not in-game. They're something you have to be proactive about, and that's something I feel like a lot of people struggle with. They get burnt out simply because they don't actively try these things. That's okay and all, it's up to them, but it's just something I found. And so that's kind of my broad guidelines to playing zombies. Just take it easy, don't expect to get everything and go on the highest round every single time you play zombies because you definitely will get bored, you will get burnt out and it won't be as fun. So just relax, do this thing casually, play it again if you want, do some challenges and have fun. So thank you guys so much for watching and until the next absolutely beautiful zombies morning, I will catch up with you guys later. And as always, stay beautiful.